Hello, I'm Deaconess London with your word of wisdom for today. I would like to share a few thoughts with you of a woman who was not a wounded woman, but a warrior woman. In Mark chapter 5, verse 26 to 34, we read over and over of the woman with the issue of blood. She was not given name, but she suffered for 12 years from slow bleeding. Despite what was happening with her and around her, she had the ability and the capacity to be an intimate warrior but she was constrained because of her issues which dampened and hampered her militant spirit. She was seen by others as defiled, destitute, and desperate. She craved intimacy but could not because she was still bleeding. How she endured so long was a miracle but one day the warrior spirit rose up within her and she seized the initiative to declare enough is enough and her daring act went into play. Her condition warranted her to crawl but she pushed her way through the crowd and she continued to encourage herself with these words. If I could just touch him, she desired intimacy. Somehow she knew Jesus would understand. She did what for 12 years she could not have done. She touched and was touched. Jesus did not treat her the way society did. Having the intimate nature of the Father portrayed in the Son, Jesus embraced her and called her daughter, affirming her womanhood and bid her to go in peace. I don't know what your issues are or how long you have been bleeding but say, like the warrior woman, enough is enough. Let the warrior spirit within you arise. Touch the hem of Jesus' garment and embrace your womanhood or manhood. I encourage you today. To remember the word of God, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Be blessed. <music>